Is he not a friend enough? This country is finished. Nobody believed it. And several years ago, three years ago, I came out and said that, look, a dollar was going to get to 1,000 naira. Nobody believed it. Security, I said it. And I told you that this government, the way they are going, after Afghanistan, it will be Nigeria. This government will surrender the uh, Asa Villa to bandits. And we're not getting close to that. Schools are closing in Abuja. And people are keeping quiet. And they want me to keep quiet. And I say, no, I will not keep quiet. I have said it. We have said it, my colleagues here, especially Governor Wiki, have said it. We have all said it. We are in the same shoes. We know the challenge that we are having. Bandits have taken over. Full and bandits, not just bandits. Not thief bandits. I know we have criminal elements, whether from thief or Igbo or Yoruba and all that. But the main bandits today we have are full and bandits from Niger, from Mauritania, from Ghana, from Senegal, from Libya, from Chad, from all over the place. And because they have chosen that they will take Nigeria to become a full and nation. Period. Buhari have said it. General Danjuma have said it. It's not just Otom that is saying it. So what are we talking about? We here in Tivland, in Benway State, our forefathers in 1804 stood against the invasion and occupation of Benway Trap and said, no, we will not accept it. For those of you who have chosen to walk and accept the invasion and taking over our land. May God bless you. May God help you. Because God said I should not curse you. If God were to allow me to curse you, I would say you are a cursed person. And God will deal with you. Just this week, 18 people were killed from my local government. Innocent people. Farmers. I went to teaching hospital. A young man, barely in his 20 years, his two eyes were plucked by Fulani Hesman. And they sent him a message to tell me that as long as I maintain the prohibition of open grazing, they will continue to do this. Another man's hand was chopped. He's still in the teaching hospital. You can go there and see him. And you want me to be celebrating Fulani men? To hell with Atiku and any other Fulani man who says I should be. And any man supporting a tiku here and all that is an enemy. I want this to be known. As long as I'm governor. And except my people tell me that, look, we draw from this. If you want to be slaves to the flag, you can go there and be slaves. I can never be a slave. It's better I die than be a slave to any flag. What are we talking about? That more than 36 people were massacred about three weeks ago in Logo local government. That is where our senator comes from. He was there. 36 people. Others were missing, so we did not know. And in fact, after he visited, a pastor from one of my friend's church went to the farm and he was murdered. His wife ran. We are here to bury him. I had to make money available for him to be buried next week. 36 people were murdered by this Fulanese. Just today, I didn't know, from Logo local government, that is where our senator comes from. Eight people were murdered for no reason. And then you want me to be laughing and to be enjoying and to, 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 to be appreciating you for what? My tenure ends in May next year. After my tenure, you can do anything. And if you think you have any right over me, you can do whatever you want. I have written my will. I don't care about that. Nobody should threaten me. This is what my five colleagues here that decided to visit here stands for and are fighting for. We cannot accept this. 
Agreement is an agreement. <laughs> if the national chairman said he was going to resign, if a northern president was elected, why is he resisting it now? What kind of agreement is that? Do you accept that kind of agreement? No. Because well, so you want to come and fool me that I'm a Benway man, so I should betray other people. Governor Nisi Wike was the one who stood with me and accepted that national chairman should come to Benway State. All my colleagues here, look at them. Makinde, Uguanyi, Ipazu. We met and they agreed that since I pleaded because I said it should be this. You know, many people here, they will come and be saying, why should I be talking about a team man, Benue man, not being chairman? I cannot be a betrayer. I'm not one and I will never be. What is the whole thing? So all these things they say about the governor of... Uh, uh, Otom saying that he doesn't want that you. That is not the thing. He had succeeded. And many people are using that to blackmail me. That I was the chairman of the zoning committee. Yes, I was the chairman of the zoning committee. The National Working Committee did not make me chairman. It was the group of those who were nominated to be chairman that made me chairman. And it was agreed in that meeting. That since people have bought forms, let us allow everybody to contest. But once a chairman comes, a, a presidential candidate comes from the north, the chairman will go to the south. That was the arrangement. We're not in dispute about this. So all these lies that uh, the national chairman is telling people about is not true. And I want you to know that Wiki is not against Benue State is not against the chairman being from here. After all, he's a title header, a holder from Benue State. He's not against it, but it just stands for the truth. Just like MC Develop said, agreement is agreement, and it is important to keep to the agreement. If you don't keep to agreement, then you're creating